It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Bucks and the Cowboys under the lights on Sunday night. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State in the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Tonight, it's the Sunday night opener for the new NFL season between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Dallas Cowboys. I'm Brandon Gunn, joined by Charles Davis up in the booth for the first week of the 2022 NFL season. A great game awaiting us in this primetime showdown, CD. You've got two teams with eyes on going to and winning a Super Bowl here this season. Week one, these two getting together. Cowboys, Tampa Bay should be a lot of fun. They thought that they could win it all last year, got to the playoffs, and were eliminated by teams that really figured heavily in the Super Bowl contention. Let's go ahead and start with Dallas. They ended up losing all to San Francisco, who went to the NFC title game against the Rams who beat Tampa in the playoffs and then won it all. Both these teams have excellent quarterbacks. Top. First drive of the game, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will have it on offense. On first and 10, Mayfield. It's caught by Mike Evans. And they work this out past the 25. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, partner, that's the start that you want right there. And you know he spent the entire offseason throwing hundreds, I'd probably say thousands of passes, getting ready for that moment. The first throw of the new season. He's dreamed about it, thought about it, and now it's out of the way. Yeah, one for one, a lot more to go. Mayfield on first down. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And out across midfield, down to the 45. And two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Cook again. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. <laughs> From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Mayfield. Looking right sideline, that's complete. It's so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays? Let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Cook. No signal. And now they say he did not get in. He is stonewalled at the one. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Mayfield now. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. 
Boy, just the last thing you want to see here in the first quarter of a new season. Hopefully nothing serious. We'll step aside for a moment. Maybe the first big test of the season here on both sides. This is third and goal. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Bucs are on the board here first in the season opener. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he... Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. On third down, it's Prescott. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt. So here's the situation upcoming. Second quarter, third down, and this defense just trying to force the field goal attempt. Yeah, he's got it. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jalen Tober with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Cowboys are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Oh, there's more commonplace now. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. And now a shot taken up. Now can this offense muster a late second quarter drive to break our tie? Let's see, they'll have to be pretty efficient with their time here. Watch the clock. They're looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. The Cowboy offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not. Let's see what this defense can do here. Ball at the 18-yard line in the red zone. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Rosa's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. Keeping this offense out of the end zone has to be considered a must here. As this defense can ill afford to go two scores down here in the second half. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the former Cowboy, Byron Jones. And the Buccaneers are going to take over at their own two-yard line. Well, their defense got him the football with an interception. They trot out there, Charles, in the very first play. They give the football right back. <laughs> Brand, I almost expect you coming like an auctioneer. We've got two, we got two. Do I hear three? Remember, it was two in a row. Would we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. So out come the Bucks now. They take over here following the interception. That's the good. zone alert let's jump back in here first and 10 at the 16. a first down throw from mayfield to the goal line but it's incomplete we've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low score 
flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another Aaron throw as a result. On second down, Cook. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down, they hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? But you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Touchdown, So a big third down coming up here for the defense, trying to preserve a very slim lead in the third quarter. Prescott from the gun on third. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. Third and four is always a tough call. Maybe a little too long to run for him, but not too long to hit him on the quick slant. And that was well executed. Found the window and zipped it right in there. This defense now trying desperately to hold on to this fourth quarter lead, but to do it, they've got to keep this offense out of the end zone. From the red zone now, Prescott. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. He's at the 50, 30, 10, 5, and he returns it to the end zone. A fumble recovery touchdown for the Bucs. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. situation here a big play has put this offense with a first and goal down inside the five yard line cook is into the end zone for a tampa bay touchdown nothing to lose now this offense forced to go for it down a bunch here in the fourth quarter desperation time prescott on fours and it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And the Bucs are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it. it... Score here. As we drop you into the action, it's second down, second and five inside the red zone. Second and five now, Mayfield. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Nice, smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with to throw Mayfield over the middle to Evans. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Dalvin Cook already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Bucs are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. So this looking more and more like it is going to be a successful kickoff to their campaign as they add on here. And partner, you know NFL coaches, they're on the sideline thinking about all the little things that need correcting. But for the most part, They've got to be a step. Okay. 
fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. And Mayfield again with the interception. His third picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Now they get a fourth quarter pick. A little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other. But it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. And out now come the... Well, partner, that'll do it. These week one primetime games, they always seem to have a little bit more electricity, a little more anticipation, a fun one tonight, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead. And, partner, I love the word you just used there, electricity. Things were crackling out there, weren't they? And let's face it, both of these teams came in with the idea, get off to the start. Get off to a 1-0 start and get your season going. That could spark an excellent season for them. They've got that in their pocket now. So for Tampa Bay, not much to complain about here. They come in and steal a victory in a tough place to play on a Sunday night. And they'll get another road test next week as they have to go to New Orleans to take on the Saints. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat.